Hey, this is Saif, and today we're gonna create this falling platform in the Godot engine. You can see it despawns or disappears after some seconds. So let's now go into the Godot engine. Yeah, I have a little project here. The character can slide and jump and stuff like this, but yeah. Let's open a new scene. We go with the node 2D and let's give it the name Falling Platform. We need some more nodes. Let's go for actually two timers here. I duplicate this. We will need a fall timer and a self, let's call it self-destruct timer. Then we're going to go for area 2D. Yeah. Let's, let's add a collision shape. Yeah, let's drag it up here. The area 2D is the trigger area. So as the player lands on the platform, this triggers the fall timer. And we're going for a static body to D. Yeah, we will need another collision shape. Okay. And yeah, of course, the sprite. Oops. Where was it? <laughs> Ah, yeah, so you could you could use the Godot icon here. It's by default in every project. I'll go for this falling platform here. Yeah, so let's add the collisions first. On the right, go to shape and let's select a rectangle here. Put the sprite on top directly under falling platform and can see the collision shape in front. Then it's mostly adjusting stuff. So, yeah. Always be a little bit more generous. So, yeah, let's make it a little bit smaller than the surface of the falling platform. And I think. That's good. Yeah. I'm just deleting the empty one, so don't have to adjust it again. I can just use this one. Yeah. Position it in a similar way. And I think that is good for now. Yeah. So yeah, make sure for this icon here, go to node groups. And then if you don't have such a group, add maybe player, the group player, you can make it global. Make sure it's checked. That's important for the code that is coming. Okay, so now we're checking collisions. Players on one and let's do for our falling platform stuff go on masks 10 and 11. In this case, the ground is 2, the normal ground. Yeah, we go for the static body collision on mask 1 for the player and 10 for the layer. Yeah, and also for the trigger area. Go 11 on layer and mask 1 for player. So now we're adding the script for the falling pl falling platform okay we will need some export var here var fall speed float determines the speed of the falling rock like so here um referencing we will need to reference a lot of stuff Yeah. 
So we're beginning with the static body here. You can drag and drop it like so. We will need the trigger area and the two timers. So trigger area, drag and drop. Now the fall underscore timer, which is the fall timer, and then the self underscore destruct, a destruct underscore timer. Drag it. Yeah, let's move on to the is falling variable for checking. Yeah, a bull, of course, falls. For checking is the rock, uh, the platform falling. We re add the func process. So if is falling, global dot position y plus equal fall speed times delta. Oops. One fall speed too much. And spelling mistake, maybe is oh yeah, an underscore here. Spelling mistakes as always. So let's continue. Yeah. We will need some signals here. Trigger area, go to node tab, signals, and then on body entered. Body node to D, connect. Connect as it is. And there we go. You see this little green icon there as a sign that the signal is connected. So if body is in a group, and now we come to the group, top player or whatever group name you gave it, where the player is inside, that's to be sure make a print here. Player landed. Like so. Move on with the trigger area. Dot monitoring is false. And then we want to start the fall timer. Okay. Now let's reference the timer, go on timeout, node signals, connected. This creates a function on fall timer, timeout. Let's print platform falling. And say if um, is falling to true. like so and then let's say if static body null um, static body collision layer and then let's set it to zero to to be sure and i will also do that for the mask so yeah change in this one to mask So we referenced that. Yeah, think about printing the. Hmm. I think that's fine. I think it's fine. So self destruct timer start when it's falling. Yeah. So now the last signal, go to self-destruct timer, signals, timeout, connect. Then let's connect this signal here. This creates the function on self-destruct timer, timeout. Then you can type Q3. This will yeah, like delete the asset from the scene so it's not falling forever.
Okay. I think we could just cleaning up this mess here and drag it into the scene. Go to TD mode of, of your of your level tab. Oh, that that was the wrong asset. What I want is the falling platform. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's pack it into the hazard folder and then drag and drop the falling platform that is right into the scene. So we can test if it works. Let's start the current scene. Oops. Yep. Okay, let's jump on it. And it falls. Let's okay, let's let's do it again. Yeah, seems seems fine, cool. So yeah, that was the mechanic. Hope you had fun and can use it in your own project. See you soon. Bye bye.